Welcome back to Get Your Hero Up a Tree, How to Write a Movie That Doesn't Stink by Mark Actenberg. I'm not going to do this every time, by the way, uh, but, uh, but just introducing my book, uh, concepts in my book, and uh, inspirations for my book. And today, you know, uh, my inspiration, uh, one of my inspirations was Wells Root, Writing a Script, A Practical Guide for Films and Television. I got this book when I was in film school. Uh, or just out of film school, I can't exactly remember, but it has been on every move uh, that I've had. Uh, it's always in a box, coming with me wherever I go, because um, it's just one of those ones that you want to pick up every once in a while for inspiration, or you're thinking about something, and it's, you know, it is a practical guide. It's very accessible, it's not formulaic, and it's certainly not um, uh, didactic. You, you know, it's very, um, uses lo lots of examples from movies of the day, his day, um, when he wrote the book or published it, which is Jaws or All the President's Men or um, uh, Star Wars, uh, I believe Kramer versus Kramer, those kinds of films, which did um, beat Apocalypse Now for a mass picture. I love Kramer versus Kramer, but dang, Apocalypse Now. <laughs> anyway. Um, so writing the script is just a, it's a really handy uh, book and a great read. And, you know, I, I like these books because there's somebody around who had Wells Root as a teacher. Not me. I'm too, too young for that. Um, but, uh, but or Alexander McKendrick. Like, you just had access to these wonderful uh, filmmakers. And, um, and the nice thing, they live on through their, through their works, through these books. And they're, they're great. And they're, there's nothing new. Digital didn't change anything uh, uh, in terms of how you tell a story. Uh, well on on film it's it's the concepts are there uh, you can invent more you can you can be experimental uh, absolutely uh, but uh, but the base concepts are there they've been there for many many years so it's not changing that part just how do I write a good movie that's the trick right so um, so this this book is just great and it's full of uh, wonderful things my, my book's called get your hero up a tree which is a quote, uh, and I talk to you know, to put your hero in a tree, throw rocks at them, get them down the tree. You know, Act one, in a tree. Act two, throw rocks. Act three, get them out of the tree. Um, in his uh, book, he uses um, a river metaphor. Uh, so it is um, going down a river. So the first act is, you know, your hero is in a skiff. He or she goes... You know, starts going down the rapids, and in the second act, uh, there's a rocky canyon, and you're just trying to avoid uh, destruction. You're just trying to avoid everything that is coming at you. And a, and a river is a good a good metaphor too, because it is it is the kind of thing where your hero is not in control. The rapids are in control. The everything that is happening to your hero is is the controlling element. <laughs> Your hero is out of control. They can't. If they could solve it, the credits would roll, and you'd go, "Well, that was, that movie kind of stunk. It's like nothing happened. It was just got out of that really easy." Um, so the second act is you're being pulled through the, these rapids, and it's live or die. And then in the third act, he's got you going right down off the uh, off the rapids, um, and he calls it down to the cataract. Uh, the roaring cataract, and you, you know, you're, you're, it's the live or die moment. Am I going to live or am I going to die? Um, and, uh, and what your characters do to resolve the situation. Uh, and of course, it's, you know, this is a, a mild uh, description because um, a movie can be many different things. That could be emotional, it can be physical, it can be all, all sorts of things um, for your protagonist. But, uh, but the concept's there, and how you approach it's there. It's just what your story is that makes it more unique and interesting and different. Uh, so it could be just a, an emotional resolution. It can be a physical resolution. It can be both. It, you know, there's all sorts of ways that you resolve your story. And sometimes you're into vanishing. I want to know what happened to my, my girlfriend. How, how did he kill her? I'll show you. Just take this drug, uh, and then I'll show you. Uh, if you haven't seen The Vanishing should see The Vanishing. Not the American version. Same director, mind you. Uh, George Sluzer did the American version and the uh, 
and his version, which I believe was Dutch. Uh, but um, but yeah, the Dutch version is great. Get on the Criterion Collection. So now I'm plugging everybody. <clears throat> Brought to you by the Criterion Collection. He also another thing I took from his uh, thing in my not my took from, but you know I, I mentioned in my book is um, his use of what's called the or else factor. You know, the fourth element to establish in your first act is the or else factor. Um, the dreadful alternative I means simply the fate in store for your hero if he or she does not z solve this uh, plot problem. So in Jaws, he says, will the hero kill the shark or be eaten alive? In Towering Inferno, will the folks get out of the skyscraper or be burned to death? I did see, by the way, a making of the Towering Inferno on the internet lately, and it's it's amazing uh, the way they made that movie. And he uses the Goodbye Girl and other examples. That's what I liked about his book. He uses examples of films that you could see, and you may not be up on those films, but they're but when you read a book like this, you go, "Well, I actually want to see that movie now. I want to see. I've never seen a Goodbye Girl, so I'm gonna check it out." Um, so it's full of all sorts of great. Uh, Great advice, and and again uses uses uh, examples from concrete examples from films that that you would know or you would be able to get today. They're not, they're, they're you know he's not talking about Preston Sturges here. Certainly, Jaws is something that that you uh, or I would have a watched if not and not watched. We should have watched, um, and if you've not watched it yet, you should. Uh, it's a great movie, and it does it doesn't age. I, I think. You know, there's certain th films that there's the costumes might age or anything like that, but the f film doesn't age. It's s s shark killing people is just as scary today as it was back then, uh, so it's, it doesn't doesn't really change anything. Uh, uh, so uh, Wells Root writing a script, I wholeheartedly recommend. And uh, again, like the, this um, the, this site uh, that I this channel I've created is is talk about movies and it's talk about craft and things like that. But more than that, it's more an exploration of movies and what makes a movie a movie. Um, and, and, and how you get into those discussions that, that are not, um, difficult to start with, you know, everyone wants to make for, for my dollar, everyone wants to make, uh, make it seem like writing a movie is a difficult thing. And it is. A difficult thing to write a good movie. Uh, to write a movie, to understand the concepts of writing a movie are not that hard. What's hard is coming up with the creative idea, the characters, the story, the plot. All of that takes a whole lot of invention. And that is where I find writing the most difficult, is engaging an audience and an idea or a story they haven't heard or, or, or it's a variation of a story that is interesting and compelling, um, that is where it's difficult. And that separates uh, the great filmmakers of people that are able to find that material, to use that material. Um, and, and Steven Spielberg would be a great example of someone who's drawn to just great material. He's just, he, he has a great instinct for, for it. And Jaws was... A film that he dreads I think well I don't know if he dreads now but you know he's obviously talked about how difficult it was making that movie but you know Close Encounters he, I guess to him you know if he thought it was a really great idea it w then he would like to see it and then you would like to see it too and he's able to craft those movies and you know you, I don't have enough hands to talk about how many you know fun adventures and great movies that, that Mr. Spielberg has made so uh, so and that's the difficulty, is is getting to that material, and then making it cohesive and making it work, and then bringing it out uh, and having the audience react to it, um, and without pandering to the audience either. I don't think he panders to the audience, but everyone has an opinion, so I'm sure I'll hear some of yours. Uh, I'll see you next time. Could you hurry up a tree?